Good morning. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to On The Spot 947, where we sit down. We have a little tete-a-tete -tete with some of the biggest and talented names in the arts and equally those who are on their artistic journey in the hopes of influencing and changing the world. Now, for some people, you can change the world one deed a day or one gesture begetting another good gesture. Or if you are so musically inclined, how about one song at a time? Now, our musical guest for today is someone who I call and deem OPM royalty. <laughs> uh, we all know and love her. And if you belong to the generation that has yet to discover her music, or you're not aware that she is the artist behind some much beloved OPM hits like Tell Me, million miles away over and over points of view with concert queen pops fernandez memories and so much more the list goes on we will run out of time if we keep that list running but it is my pleasure and my honor to welcome the one and only miss joey albert to the show yay hi guys and hi to everybody i am so keen actually to be here this is nostalgic also for me thank you so much for accepting to guest me oh you're always welcome miss joey always welcome i know it's morning for us but it's evening there yes so it's good evening, evening to you Vancouver. it is <laughs> exactly it, it feels it feels so it feels so great and so surreal to have you here um <laughs> i didn't I, I saved this little cuento uh when we when we went on live but uh -huh. did you know that i <laughs> I still have the vinyls of your very first album, as well as your third album, Expressions, and a cassette of your fourth, which is simply titled Joey, which if memory serves the me right... The blue one? Yes, the blue one. <laughs> uh, if memory serves me right, it has the songs Ikaw Lang Mamahalin, My Favorite Without You, uh, You Threw It All Away, which Martin Rivera also has a version uh, you know of. You know that, yes. <laughs> Galing, you know that. And also, I used to have, uh, and this will obviously date me now, and there's no turning back, um, recorded Betamax copies of your appearances on Penthouse Live, your <laughs> concert Larger, and the follow-up to that Larger Than Life, which were both done at the Ultra. Life size Larger Than Life. Oh my gosh, okay, now. Siguro you were in high school. <laughs> I love that this. <laughs> you know, saving your baon, no? Uh, <laughs> true, true. Yeah, oh, yeah, please make digital copy though and sell it to me. <laughs> Ay, sana. <laughs> Do you know, you know what? That is the thrill of singers in my generation that maybe the younger singers won't anymore be able to experience. Yung sabihan ka ng, Miss Joey, inipon ko yung baon ko para bilhin yung very first cassette ko sa yo. You know, that does something to us, you know. And and yung ko kung mararamdam, kung mararam, mararanasan na yun ng new singers. Kasi wala nang cassette, wala nang CD, di ba? But yeah, yeah people, I mean, it means a lot to us. If people save up their money to buy our CDs, parang wow. It, it, it's it's the kind of validation that you didn't know that you needed i guess as an artist and you didn't know that you wanted as a person no yeah that, i think uh, the equivalent today would be what likes and yeah comments. yeah likes and retweets yeah. and uh number of views yeah that's, that's what it is coming yeah. from the cd sales yeah 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 I, and numbers back in the day speak for themselves so there is no denying mm -hmm. numbers Tapos kung ilang tao sa, ano, do you remember ano um cd signing yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the malls, in Kunyari yes, yes. SM, my CD signing or record signing. Right, right. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. You yeah. know, one big table laid out, and uh, yeah. uh, pipi, you know, of course, people and tao, and they'll get numbers and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm geeking <laughs> out and fanboying today, but it's it's not <laughs> today that I get to speak with an OPM icon such as oh, you. But thank you. when when you hear the word icon. Um, what comes to mind? Do you feel odd when you hear that word? I do. Attributed I do. to you and your work. I do. I mean, when you speak of icon, it's it's um, 
for me, iconic is <laughs> Michael Jackson or, or Lady Diana. And I'm like, I am nowhere near any of those. So it, I feel a little uncomfortable. And it always makes me wonder what people's expectations are of me. Parang <laughs> it's, it's a little fear, uh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> that that's actually uh, in a way uh, leading up to my next question because as an icon i'm sure you you may feel some sort of responsibility to live up to that image or del- deliver to that pro- you know or the promise of what an icon should and can deliver i really i really appreciate that you brought that up because um icon the, the word responsibility because there is a very big responsibility for not just being an icon but being a celebrity or an artist either way um i don't know how many people really realize the responsibility that comes with fame and popularity um it's it's huge it's it's really big can you from an artist of 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 your caliber is is it something that you um that you consciously think about when you go out or for uh, some for, so, for sometimes it will just hit you when you least expect it you know what um i've learned to embody the sense of responsibility ever since then um everything i do i already know that it affects somebody there's a ripple mm-hmm. effect of everything i do right. and everything i say and i have well, also maybe because my mom trained me very well in that sense. Um, I've always been uh, attuned to that sense of responsibility. Um, and sometimes it can be as simple as your demeanor, your attitude, um, your your smile, your your decorum, just, just the way you stand. Yeah, how you carry yourself. How you carry really. yourself. Yeah. Dignity yeah, yeah, yeah. class, right. your sense of duty, your sense of commitment. These are little things um, and um, very difficult to concretize and to, but these are values that you don't realize you copy from other people. Mm-hmm. So, true. That's true. yeah. So, uh, you said your mom trained you well. Uh, can I assume that it's also your mom who introduced you to music earlier on? Um, Sort of. My mom, you know, they both loved music. They both loved, um, they played the piano. They, you know, they sang, but not professionally. But yeah, they, they, they loved music too. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, they didn't encourage me, to be honest. They they really didn't. They, <laughs> <laughs> they, my mom didn't want me to sing in the band. Talaga. She, in fact, she said, Okay, two years long, and then you have to get a proper job. <laughs> corporate kana. Sa ayaw. Sa ayaw. Gusto ko kasi hindi yung trabaho. <laughs> it's not. Uh, a job. And and I'm I'm sure that's you know that debate whether you know singing is a job or not. That's a a, a debate that will incite a lot of uh, opinions from both from both sides. But these days, anyone who has been in the arts long enough to rack up a body of work can certainly call themselves, let's say, an icon or, or you know, sikatako. But really, it is the public and the effect um, that you that have. Means, yeah, I think yeah. what makes something iconic, uh, that, that word takes a long time to become. <laughs> so that also means I'm old. <laughs> That also means I'm old. <laughs> no, I I would rather I would rather use the word uh, classic or timeless. Yeah, timeless. Classic or timeless. Alin dun sa dalawa? Uh, the, uh, the, the, but sigla, wood, timeless. Uh, I like timeless. Yeah, tabi. Yeah, timeless is, yes. is good because you're not bound by anything, and you're just bound. You just you just you're attuned to the now. Union. If you're timeless, you're attuned to the now. Yes. Uh, regardless of what happened before and regardless of what's going to happen tomorrow, you're just bound to the now. And sometimes yes. we forget to live in the now. We we worry about we worry about tomorrow. We uh, you know we we have some hangups about you know what happened before. But sometimes really 
it's the now that matters, no? And in the now, we know that you have a new single out. Pero before we get to the new stuff, it's also nice to go back to the ones before because yes. that is what made you who you are today. And likewise, I know it's not Throwback Thursday. Mayro bang Throwback Tuesday? <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, diba? but can you yes. say? Are you gonna play a song? A little mm-hmm. bit. Are you gonna play a little bit of a song? No. Uh, no but just ano lang, trip down memory lane muna. Okay. Uh, and can you share with us how how you started in the business? Okay, before I start, I'm sorry. This is what happens when you're home. I just have to unlock the door for someone. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, one minute. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right. I love painting. Uh, the background. That's uh, if that can be a a portal. <laughs> To just reach in and then you're there. I have to ask Joey what bridge that is. Uh, I don't think that's Capilano Bridge. <laughs> ah, thanks for the tip, Malu. So she loves bridges. Okay, now I know. Now I know. Right. So yeah, keep those um, keep those messages for Miss Joey coming in. And if you have a uh, specific memory that you have for one of our songs, um, feel free to just uh, comment away. On, Hello. On that and we will just read it. Uh, Miss Joey, I was just uh, saying I love the, the picture of the bridge behind you. Um, yeah. And I was wondering, I don't think that's Capilano Bridge, is it? <laughs> no, actually, it's, oh, but you've been here. Yes, I did. Yeah. The bridge has. Yes, yes I, you know have, what? I Actually, have. that's just a poster from IKEA. <laughs> yeah. Talaga. Yeah. With IKEA, but how you find it? We, we we do we do finally we do have. You know why yeah. I love that bridge? Because this is what I do. I sing for people and take them to places. I my songs bridge people from 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 now to the past from happiness to sadness from just i just use my songs to bridge or to bridge me to to people outside of this little room or bridge as a bridge to help people you know you know guess who's online chad borja yeah i just saw that i was going to read you know, that i was just <laughs> going to say chad and i have bridged use this forum to bridge our help to many less fortunate people in Manila. We've done a lot of fundraisers. Yeah, uh, Chad says, hi, Tazana. Hi, Chad. Chad <laughs> just had a show in 1980s, a very successful show. Congratulations, Chad. Awesome, awesome. Let me um, quickly just read through some of the friends of ours who are, uh, who are oh. here with us. Um, Gillian Clare is, is Oh, Gillian, yes. Um, Tazana Sin. Uh, that's what I guess that's where the, the, the comment from Chad came from. Um, hi, Irvin Lawrence and um, Jerry Rufino saying hi to the both of us. Um, Nadi Marshall says hello. Mavic Patab there as well. OPM Royalty, she says, agrees with me. She's watching from Paranaque. Um, there is this one user whose name is Korean, but I cannot read it. Hi. <laughs> nice, nice to see you again. Um, Heidi Veran says hello and good morning to you. Um, Kawai Ethel. Hi, um, Ethel. All, all hearts. Hello, yeah. Mama. Um, you know, 62 years old, I have millennial fans. Oh, diva. Uh, Mavic says, Walang kupas ang ganda pa rin idol, Miss Joey Albert. Oh, mm, thank you. Man. Um, Rose218 is also saying hello. Um, Team Joey Girl. Or dear Joey followers says hello at the rose, and uh, of course Malu, yeah. <laughs> and um, ayan, uh, Chad Borja says yeah, uh, hi, my, hi my Joey, yeah. uh, my BFF. Joey passes my BFF, and ayan. Nag-uusap sila dito sa chat natin. So, yeah. I know. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is great. Do you know yeah. that's what happened in my Joey's Jam? So, classmates or mga hindi pa nagkikita for a long time, oh, ay, kamusta? Ang the chat, ha? Yung isang nga, ano, nanonood yung ex-boyfriend niya. So, Lala. she had to, ano, leave the chat kasi the ex-boyfriend was, ang gulo talaga. It was so funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> Leave the chat. Baka uh, ano naman, baka kailangan mag-mend ng bridges kaya nandun ang ex-boyfriend. <laughs> o oh, tama, bridge na naman. O, oh, bridge. Oh, <laughs> Babalik tayo dyan. Babalik tayo, Babalik tayo sa bridge. <laughs> uh, Bryn AG. Well, you're a bridge. Uh, you know, you're, you're radio. You're a bridge also to to us. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, I never thought of it that way. But yeah, that's a good, you that's know, a great, that's a great metaphor. You know, there's something I really miss about live radio, the way it was before. I mean, now, the young people have playlists. Yeah. They know exactly what the, what song is going to come up next. During my time, we just look at the kit to our transistor radio, and then we hindi namin alam ko yung song lalabas next. Tapos nandun yung DJ palagi, magde-dedicate pa. Minsan may crush pa rin. May crush ka pa sa DJ, di ba? So, or something like that. So it was so nice kasi, ay, you know, I grew up with the radio talaga eh, in my ear. That was my twin sister radio. It was Periwinkle Blue, I remember. I love my radio. And that was my companion. At saka yung, yung nagsasil tayong DJ, tapos parang may kausap ka. Parang palagi may nagsasil ta kasama mo. Um, and then, yung mga dedications, tapos yun nga, yung surprise, yung pag-unig mo na yung next song, ay, shit, ay, shit, shit naman, di ba? Ay, may song, di ba? Di ba? So there's an element of, ah, surprise. Yun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, so, I mean, you know what, Miss Joey, even if kami, I mean, we, we, we are in radio, but we also have friends in other radio stations or even dito rin sa amin. Yeah. Na, you know, if we're also tuned in in the car, and then if we hear our own names being read back to us by whoever it is on board, right? Diba? Uh, and sarap din ng feeling. Oh, so, you know, parang mapapatalun ka ganyan. Oh, oh, diba? true, true. That's, in fact, that's that happened to me. One of my trips home, I wait, parang I came out with a. What was the last song I came out with before I left? I forgot. Or basta, basta it played. The song played <laughs> on the radio. So. I was like, Manilo, Manilo, lakasan mo, lakasan mo. And the driver was so on, nahuli kami ng police. Kasi ako na-excite ako. Nabulabog si driver. And that feeling of excitement and, and the element of surprise and I don't know, I just, I love radio talaga. Grabe. And radio <laughs> loves you back and that's why, and that's why we're doing this today. That's I know. Today. Oh, and that's why that's why my songs are still here. I have to think. Every radio station, I climbed every building in Tilcomsat in Ortigas. I, and it's because of them. I think really they played a major part. Or you, radios. 94.7 Laguna played a major part in immortalizing the songs. Mine. And the other songs of the 80s. It's there because, do you, do you notice that it's the songs of the 80s in OPM na ang tagal, 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 tagal? Na hanggang yeah. ngayon dyan? Exactly, it's exactly. It's because of you radio people. It's because you played those songs. It's It was played over and over, day in, day out. It, the, the, the people of our generation grew up listening to it every day in the shower, in the car, in the... So kaya ang namin ang it's, it's, because, it's a soundtrack to our lives and and you know we, and, who, we, I, and who played those soundtracks you yeah i guess yeah yeah you, <laughs> tulung, you and tulung. your predecessors <laughs> yes tulong tulong maliit ang mundo diba? Diba? that's what we sometimes forget uh miss tita k de vera is oh. joining us as well today so good morning tita good morning. is my fan friend since 1982 Ah, 40 years na kami fan friends. Wow. Umits umpisa fan tapos naging friends na. Sobra. Magandang ganoon uh, that you have, you know, friends who are with you and they will just um, you know, they they got your back in short. The kind of oh, friends who got your back, diba? Ayun. Um, Ayun na, the older you get, parang must na well must no. be given the value oh must na reminded ka of the value of, yeah. of they get the they get less but they get more value but those ones that stay become more valuable yes they appreciate sila every uh-huh. year ay parang yeah. ano parang <laughs> ano parang real estate <laughs> oh pwede na rin <laughs> parang real estate real <laughs> na estate yes. <laughs> especially the real friends 
So, <laughs> ayun, teka. Uh, balikan natin yung <laughs> balikan natin yung question uh, about how you got started in uh, in the business. For for some people uh, that are not aware, um, you started with the band first before going solo, di ba? Definitely. I started with a band called The New Minstrels. I sang for the third generation. That was that was a long-standing show band. There were five generations. I was the third. The first generation of those was Luis Reyes, Eugene Villaluz, Ding Mercado. Um, and then there was the second generation that became something special. I was the third generation. And I was performing at the El Camarote. Six nights a week, three sets a night. Ah, <laughs> Those were the days. Ano, ano, lagari, lagari, in a way. Lagari. Oh, hindi pa lagari yun. Naglagari ako later on when I joined Forum Band. Um, I, uh, Forum, uh, two years later, I joined Forum Band. Forum Band played naman at the Alibi Bar. Do you remember the Alibi Bar? Alibi the bar, Regent that? Hotel, which burned down. But it was ah, uh, yeah. with where music and magic play. Yeah, yeah. Kami forum band. So I, but what? But, but I also sang in the Hyatt Kalesa Bar. Yeah, that one you remember, the right? Yeah, Kalesa mm. Bar. Every, every, mm-hmm. everyone who's anyone <laughs> would sing there. Yes. So ginagaw six to nine sa Kalesa Bar ako. Nine o'clock. Takbo ako ng katabi ng Oh my God! That's super legal. But you know, guys, we just because it was just because we loved to sing. There was, there was. It was not the money. We just loved it. We just really loved it. Can you imagine six nights a week, three set, three sets a night, and one hour in each set. Yeah, we just loved it. But some of the sets, siguro since I know, okay lang naman na. Kiramin yung set sa kabila, gamitin mo dito sa other side. I know, we practice our repertoire. Talagang, we build our repertoire. Pero syempre, pag first set, Ronnie Los muna. Francis yeah. Pugos. <laughs> Ganyan, <Yeah>. diba? <laughs> Instrumental mo na. Uh, Ganon. Yeah. Tapos sa pa yung singers. Yeah. It was so fun! Was it... Um, because of what you did and experiences you know with the band was it easy what is it an easy transition to go solo um probably probably mm-hmm. but i think what it taught me the most to do was to be comfortable with people was to talk oh, okay. to them and was to um to to really connect with them because it's mm-hmm. the band and the tao sa harap mo and the bandit ng kamarote ang lit ng alibay bar and lit ng kalesa bar right yeah yeah, yeah. that's and right the tao sa harap mo so natututo ka talaga to engage people and yun isa pa yung natututunan mo yung discipline yung kahit na rowdy sila or whatever basta kanta ka lang you know it's every night is a different situation and then yun that's it taught it taught me a lot with all you've, kinds of people, all kinds. You've, you've you've gone through so much and seen that much. Can can you say that it was harder then to break into the industry as compared to now, or it's equally as challenging because of other platforms that can be also a diversion or a distraction if you're not focused? I haven't given it as much thought as maybe I should, but with whatever thought I've given this this whole thing with i think it was easier to find a place for ourselves before uh-huh. oh. there's just too much competition there's just too many platforms um it's i would be really scared if i was starting up now not just the online streaming not just everybody having youtube channel and stream and online streaming things but all these contests on TV, the American Idol, The Voids, all these things. It's just a million good singers and 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 how many of them really, you know, just by the by numbers lang, the yeah. odd, the ba? And also because now television had changed in the Philippines. Even wag na tayong pumunta sa world. Lang yeah, sa, dito lang sa atin. All right. Dati, during our time, ayun, meron kaming radio tours. So we go, we, we, we present our songs in the recording studio schedule set for us, diba? We go and promote our songs. Tapos we guest in TV shows to promote our songs. Minsan may ano pa, may octo-arts dancers pa. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. My hyper-dancers 
Ay, oh, eh. may, may Weya Twins pa. Yeah, di ba? <laughs> may Weya Twins. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Hindi <laughs> ba? Ang saya! Tapos, we could guest. Unang-una, nakakanta namin yung song Buo. Buo. From finish to end. To promote. To promote. Yeah. Tapos, we could go to minsan sa isang, in one Sunday, we're promoting the song in five te- TV shows. Kasi, uh, after after Um, Germ Special, we'll go to Integrity Day, then we'll go to ABN, then we'll go to um, That's Entertainment, and then we'll go pa to Nora or Vilma or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Sa right. Artists, nagkakasalisihan kami. Well, see you later in ganito, ha? Ganyan. <laughs> oh, tapos, bihis ka lang sa kotse, tapos, iba na yung suot mo dun sa next <laughs> TV show. Right, right. Mga ganun, diba? And these And are the stories na hindi alam ng public. Na hindi para, na. Parang, tapos, we actually diba? get, yeah, ang saya, tapos we actually get to sing the song. Buo. Um, Lately, pag, nakikita, pag umuwi ako, nakikita ko puro production number. So, hindi nabibigyan for me ng enough attention. Although, may mga sumisikat talaga yung magagaling. Which is also probably a good thing. But, um, for me, we had more chances. We had more airtime. <laughs> we had more time. <laughs> more time, diba? air time. We had more airtime yeah, kasi mas, yeah. bawas, mas bawas yung production numbers, I guess. Yes, And, yeah. Uh, But, I, I mean, now, I'm glad that they're still finding their way. I mean, I... I don't know very much, but uh, I, I know a few bands. And thanks to my millennial fans, they teach me all these new songs that I should sing. And into you know, these new bands. And in fact, I'm so excited. I'm going to watch Ben Ben. They're come, they're here. Oh, they're yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're already yes, yes. here. And so, ben, um, ben is love. Ben, yes, ben is love. Sobra. And their songs. And they write them. Oh, so, yun lang siguro ang advantage ngayon. If you're really good, yung umaangat talaga yung mga really good. Mm-hmm. That's right. So I'm so excited. Yeah, October 6th, their show here. So I want to watch. But I don't know. For me, just on a personal note, I don't know if other people in my generation feel this way, but I would be very scared to enter show this now. <laughs> Nakakatakot. <laughs> It, it also takes a different kind of, you know, m- you know, kind of person to to go into it, literally. And uh, mm-hmm. and yeah, for those who are thinking of doing that, then kudos to you. Um, to and finally, everyone. and finally, because I didn't have any intentions of going into it, I really didn't cross my heart. No, really, I I finished college because my mom said I had to, to finish. I finished mass comm, so I did radio. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I finished college and then I joined minstrels for fun. In fact, I had only two years to, to sing. My mom said, oh, pag tapos ng two years, tama ka na. Yun lang, di ba? Find a job. So, it was, wala. It was, there was no intention there. Not like now, talagang, mom, the kids now, just five, six years old, I want to be a singer. Tsaka, gagaling talaga nila. And, and alam know na that, diba? know na that they're gonna yeah. so, oh. Right, right. Okay, oh, Des. Teka, mag-asawa na ako ng mayaman. Okay na ako. <laughs> <laughs> um, that also is a good, that also is a good one in itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mag-madre. Dati gusto ko mag-madre. <laughs> Hindi ako tinanggap. <laughs> Good morning as well to you, Drin AG, uh, Juan Miguel Gamocha, of course, our friends. Uh, ah, uh, Drin AG says, Yakapin Moho is also one, one of his uh, moving songs that helped him over a breakup years ago. So. Ah. That Thank is you. a moving song that Freddie Santos and Luya Comfort wrote that for my sister when she passed away. Oh. So it is really a song of angst and longing, deep longing. And this one for longing for someone that I would never see again. So maybe in a way, ganun din yung naramdaman niya siguro when he broke up with her. That feeling na eh, hindi na kito makikita ulit, hindi na kito mayayakap ulit, right? So, yeah. yeah, that's how I felt singing it for my sister. 
Um, Chad says, I truly admire Joey's passion for music, the heart of a true artist. So, love you, BFF. I love you too. <laughs> um, Raymond Desipeda says hello. F. That's Father Miguel. Raymond. That's one of my mommy's priests. Hi, Father. Oh, there you are. Um, Socorro Oriel uh, says hello to you. And um, Corazon Uy saying hello to the both of us. Um, says hello, Miss Joey. Nice to see you again. Um, still fangirling from meeting you last Saturday at Tilford Garden. Uh, oh, remember oh, me? This is yes. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rolando text mo ko na yung Patrick yung number ko. I-text mo ko. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, Rolando Aguilar says, Winner! In all exclamation points. Um, and then, uh, what else for that? And um, Team Joey Girl also says that uh, you did an online Zoom meeting with them before that lasted for four hours uh, yeah. with members as young as 11 years old and as young as hard as 65 years old. We're going to um, do that again, Team Joey Girl. Promise. There you go. You asked them about their New Year resolutions and sang Obladi Oblada with them. Uh, <laughs> the meeting made an impact for all of them. It says, thank you, Miss Joey. Obladi <laughs> <laughs> Revive the bayan. Basta matuwa sila. And oh, have a safe flight, uh, Mr. Chad Borja. This is Catherine. Have fun. Safe flight, BFF. Yeah. Uh, the Korean, um, the Korean name actually has an English name. <laughs> it's Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Um, it, yeah. It brought connections. Uh, like what Miss Joy says, her songs create bridges to create those who were born in the 80s, like me and the millennials. Yeah. Um, Camille says, my number one super favorite singer, Miss Joy. Camille Tabakla, is that her? Yes. Ca yeah. Camille, uh, Camille Bangoy. Oh, Bangoy, okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, Neng Angeles, one of our regular listeners, says, Hello, Miss, uh, Miss Joey Albert. Hi, Neng. Uh, I'm Neng Angeles from Pasig, one of your loyal fans. I love your sweet voice and impressive singing style that brings cherished moments and mixed emotions. Don't worry, we're always ready to support you and your songs. Thank you. Yeah, marami. There's so many of uh, so many people that you've touched. And we know how important music is to you and probably, you know, and obviously to a lot of our viewers. Uh, and some listeners may not know that there is also that you are also a kind of person who who pays it forward. Like you've raised funds for Gawad Kalinga. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a foundation that provides housing yes. for for Filipino for Filipinos who are in need of it. Um, I was wondering, in the age of the pandemic, do you still get to do that, or even prior to the pandemic? And I was wondering, what lessons have you gotten from being part of that foundation? One of the biggest lessons I've learned from being part of Gawad Kalinga is the value of, of um, embracing the less fortunate in our lives and the value mm -hmm. of helping them. Um, I was very fortunate to have worked side by side with its founder, Tony Meloto. And I asked him, Tony, why? Why, why is it so important for you to, make the, to, to do this as a nation building? And he says, you know what many people don't realize is that if we help the poor, mm -hmm. lahat. Yeah. but if we don't help the poor, nobody's going to want to come to our country. It's going to be lie, you know, lie, you know, and I thought about it and I was like, oh, no. we don't, no man, you know, I'll go back to this 1960s song that says, no man is an island. Hindi ka angat kung ikaw lang. If you think marami kang pera, angat ka, hindi. Kasi if marami kang pera, pero nasa bansa ka na hindi progressive, anhin mo lahat yung pera mo, mag-isa ka lang dyan. Nobody's gonna, gonna come to you. Nobody's gonna wanna invest in you anyway. So, diba? So, tama yung sinabi ni Tony. And I, I, I embraced his holistic um, 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 outlook. outlook. And it, it's hmm. true. Whatever we do, if we help the others, we raise everybody up, including ourselves. That's one big lesson I really learned. And and helping others makes you feel good about yourself. It, it, it uplifts 
your value as a person. It does. It, it really does. does. Maybe people don't see it, but you feel it. You feel yeah. it. I don't know. Um, every time we and, and what and about the pandemic, we have been Chad and I have been so fortunate to have this this online streaming forum, Streamyard specifically, because we and with the help of yeah, and Father Raymond, one of my mom's priests. My, my mom is the founders of the first Filipino-founded congregation of Catholic priests in the Philippines. Wow. So you ah, must imagine how many lessons I learned from her. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yes. So, sa kamay. Yeah. So with that congregation, uh, we've sila yung bridge. Ayun na man, bridge. Mm. Sila yung bridge namin na sa mga um, may, may kapinsanan sa Philippines. For instance, if there's a typhoon, mga typhoon victims or whatever. So they'll say, Ate Joey, kailangan namin na, okay, go. So Chad and I, kakanta kami for six, seven hours. And there was one time talagang naiyak na kaming dalawa after. We were both bawling after the show, after seven or not because we were tired, but because after six hours, yung mga nanonood na nagdo-donate, they raised, and I'll say they, not me, because wala, wala hindi sa amin galing yung pera ha, sa kanila. Mm-hmm. They, all together, collectively, Filipinos raised uh, 704,000 pesos in six hours of Chad and wow. me But, oh. and, and all of that, at saka ako malakas ang loob ko kasi alam ko yung tatangan ng pera yung mga pari ni mami so alam ko it's dadating doon yung tulong right? uh-huh, uh-huh. so kaya kami naiyak ni Chad it's this overwhelming power um, of what you did parang wow what, wow diba? parang what a, to have been part of that yeah to have been what part of a, something like that diba? What a what an opportunity! What a, you know, I, I still speechless. Parang kami every time. Like it, Chad, you know, over the pandemic, Chad organized sing out by the south, and ang siya naman he wanted to raise money for the displaced musicians. Because it's sa lahat ng clubs, lalo na sa Cebu and Davao, all the clubs closed down. Wala silang hanap buhay. Zero. So Chad raised money doing shows. With me, with everybody, and I think in this in the course of two years, we must have raised I think 10, 20 million. You just kept going and going and going, and you know there is really there's power here, and helping others always really enriches you, enriches you. And we sometimes forget that. And, and we sometimes do. forget that. Yeah. Yes. Um, aside from Gawad Kalinga, are there also, let's say, other foundations that you uh, that you are busy with in Vancouver? Um, no, not really. Not really. There was one foundation. Well, there was one um, thing that I also um, where I worked five years in ABS-CBN for a TV show called Bahay Kalinga, naman. Um, Kalinga pa rin. Um, this, uh, yeah, I was given them on this. Um, opportunity to be the executive producer by Gretchen Ocampo and we gave uh, free medical attention to uh, poor especially the babies so we had a tv show with Panawagans and, and that was also very near and dear to my heart now I don't I use this forum to or, or when I had a band here we used to do a lot of fundraisers um, but no I, I don't have an actual foundation I still continue to do race money for whoever needs it but and for my church and i ran a daycare <laughs> oh yeah 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 so how, how long how long was that i mean since since you moved you started that or was it not a man when i moved i took care of my children Muna, for 10 years i was a student okay. mom. hardest job in the world <laughs> i can imagine i can imagine um, tatlo lang kami sa bahay, but still, uh, we we probably were a handful for me and my mom. <laughs> deba, deba. Yeah. But uh, but you know what? And you know when when I did that, when I moved here and I did that, sempre wala akong work. And in the first few years, sempre hindi naman ako hindi naman ako nahahanap ng mga producer dito, so wala na ako ng show. So um, I didn't have a lot of money anymore, and also I didn't. I didn't want to really work full time. 
I didn't want to work at all because I wanted to take care of my kids. So my husband lang ang nagtatrabaho. Ang mm-hmm. na naman here in Canada, jobs are simple. Yeah. You, don't get, you don't jump into being a bank manager here. <laughs> right, right. You slowly work your way up. Yeah. Yes, the typical yeah. life of an immigrant. Right? Yeah. So um, it's very difficult in that sense. Hmm. Uh, but speaking of Vancouver, well, mayaman ang bansa. Um, I, I, <laughs> um, I was there during the early 90s. And yes, that's why I knew about Capilano Bridge. And, oh, what are you um, doing yeah, here? Why did you uh, leave? I, I visited, no, I visited my, my uncle and, uh, and my cousins who were, st- who were there in Vancouver. And I had a, a good friend who was also there in Vancouver. Um, I, actually, I, know them. I actually saw you in one of the stores there. I do not remember the store. But How I wanted dare to say, you not say hello? I wanted to say hi back in the day, but I was so chicken. Please don't tell me I was in jogging pants or sweatshirt. I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. But you know what? Even if I was not able to say hi to you back then, I'm glad that I'm able to do it now. And, <laughs> and really just thank you for your work. Because I know dito, alam mo dito what mm-hmm. I really also like about being here is I don't have to mm-hmm. dress up. I don't have to. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simple lang. Just simple be, lang. Tao simple lang dito. You know, yeah. yeah. And you know, my dear care. Now I'm. I, now they're slowly because of social media. They're slowly starting to figure me out. But for mm. the first 10, 11 years of my running the daycare, nobody knew who I was. I don't tell people, especially the the locals. I don't like to tell them. They like this. It's, it's nice to be liked for because for they like. Yeah, because they like long this girl in front of them, or they they don't like you because ah, you were a big star before. It just feels so nice to be liked, not because I was a star before, but because I'm probably nice. <laughs> True, and, true. True. And, um, and and as I said uh, again once again your your music has provided so much comfort and nurturing for for listeners here and abroad and that really is the power of music and your music in particular uh, does that and and spans a whole uh, range of, of of emotions and not to mention you know generational one generation after another knows your songs and speaking of songs you do have a new single out. I do. Um, can you please tell us more about this new song? Okay, this is so. This new song is called "Kundi Mangkopas," and I came across it. It was being sung by a, a choir, and uh, I saw that it was written by Robert More, who mm-hmm. who had written one of my favorite original songs. Yes, Mulan Miles Away. Yes, <laughs> I love I love reading CD covers. <laughs> yeah, you'll know who did the backup vocals, you know who wrote the music, who wrote the lyrics. So never underestimate the, the info that is there. So exactly. I can tell. <laughs> so yeah, I messaged him. I said, Robert, and can the naman ng kanta mo? Has has any solo artist performed? No, a lot. I go, pahanta naman. He said, sure, sa yun na. That really, it was such a beautiful song, and I wanted to do it right. So he gave me the song in October last year. Mm-hmm. I studied November, December. I studied the song for almost six months before I took it to the studio. The song has lyrics that this new generation would probably never heard. The kind of love that this, that the old Kundiman lyrics brought. And the reason I wanted to bring it back was because I wanted this new generation of, of music lovers, the younger ones, to, to, to know where are these new songs nowadays really came from? Because for me, the Kundiman was the root, yeah. the root of all love songs, the source. And, and they will, and all the love songs now carries the essence of the Kundiman. And that's why Filipino OPM love songs has never changed. 
through the past four decades, ever since I started, and from the Kundiman times. Why? Because the Kundiman lives in each of these songs. And I wanted the young people to know that. And they will. And they will. <laughs> when we give them a sample. <laughs> when, we, when we play them a sample. Yes. Okay, we will do that. YouTube, my is called. <laughs> Father Raymond, I'm just like Jan. Lakas mo sa salya, no? Sige, we shall play it. Sige. Ah. Look at the lyrics, ah. I bet even you haven't heard these lyrics in a long time. Kumupas ang liwat na mato Ikaw pa rin ang lagi kong hindi narasal Kahit kung di may limot na Ilambingan at harana Biliw aawitan ka Magpapanggap ako makata, ikaw ang aking ura. Kupas na kundi may maaring nawag litilan, ito may di na tinakikinggan. Di manatapos ang awit kong ito. Di lahat na isulat ang laman ng puso ko. Mga bakas ng luha at ngiti, mga pilas ng pagsubok. Ang siyang nagbubuo nitong pag-ibig na wagas sa'yo lamang hanggang wakas. Ito'y kundi mang aking inaalay habang ako'y nabubuhay. Ang alaala ng musika'y walang hanggan pagkat ito'y laan para sa'yo. Maglaho man ilit ng panahon, sanhi ng kawalan, hanggang ako'y may hininga ay aawitan kita. And so we that's that's more than a generous sample. <laughs> I know I was like I got carried away. <laughs> but carried away. The words just yeah, you it, it's, capture. It's, it's, true. It's, it's um it's it's not the kind of lyric that you would that you would hear in a modern OPM uh, love song. No, uh, it's it's no. um and, and and is this the reason why it took you you know six months to learn? Parang ninam nam mo ba before going into the recording? If you listen to the next half and where the notes go, mm -hmm. that's why it took me <laughs> six months. Ah, okay, yes, <laughs> it's a hard song. It is. It is. It's pretty. It's pretty rangy. It's pretty rangy. No, it's um, just. It's not just the words, but the thoughts that go into that song. It's. It's papanggap ako ng makata. Ikaw ang aking obra. Who says that anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or you know, um, um, uh, ay kumupas ng iyong pagmamahal. Ikaw pare ng aking dinat. Where is that martyr life? Where is that surrendering love anymore? Where is it? That's how love should be. Should people be. should get reminded people should get reminded of that um and 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 thank you for sharing and thank you for recording the song <laughs> now we have now we have something new to play yes i i wait speaking of christmas may comment i dito about kumo puti uh, it's um it's a it's a link where did you go? Where did you go? 
Alah, kenapa titik dia tinta aku bersih-bersih lah saya dah tunggu tu. Okay guys, I do to work as well. Ba't nawala? Ba't ako nawala? Ano ba yun? Ano nga pa? Hold on. Okay, I went to the moon and back. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, you love me to the moon and back. <laughs> yeah, Jillian says uh, we used to sing kumukuti kutita pag nagangaroling ng bata pa, but now as a young adult, uh, will it feel like Christmas uh, brought so much comfort when I wasn't able to come home for Christmas during the pandemic? Yeah, that's from Jillian. So that's so, the news. I I, I wrote that song because my mom died uh-huh, in 2019. Oh. And I really <laughs> didn't know what the next Christmas at Christmas was. Mm. I didn't know if Christmas would ever feel like the Christmas it was always, you know? So I love that song. Yeah. Um, so sorry to hear that, but yeah, that's that's how life is. That's how life, life is. Happens, um, right? Life happens. Yeah, life happens. We we, we lost mom and during 2020, the beginning, before the, the onset of the of the lockdown. It was not from the pandemic, but um, you know, it as I said, it, it was her time. So you know, the pandemic also helped us to to mourn in our own space. True. And True. yeah, the bar. Yeah. True. Uh, and and, and, like, oh, and songs will help us heal. Songs, talaga, yeah, yeah. So you know, they did. They I took I took a songwriting workshop with Jim Pereda, and I said do something good with my time. And those songs, that and para may Pasko din sila, which is a Christmas song I wrote for the less fortunate people. Uh, those two Christmas songs came out from my my songwriting workshop. There you go. <laughs> Um, when when you go into a song, Miss Joey, which one do you look for, or, or or let's say when you when you hear a song, what catches your attention, music muna or lyrics? Hmm, hard question, yeah, na. <laughs> Usually, it's the it's how they are not together. It's how the music carries the lyrics that that, mm. that catches me. Like for instance, ah. like if I was just to hear a new song for the first time. Like Frank said, okay, let's go, let's go band and band. Um, it was both uh, the melody and lyrics of Leaves that really, you know, wow, oh, wow, and where the song takes you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where it goes up, where, where the song lifts you. If you, if I find that in a song, then that's the one. You know that that did it for you, yeah. Um, Corazon says, uh, Miss Joey, I already posted our pics on IG <laughs> and tagged oh, you now. Uh, okay, I'll check it. She, she also agrees now with what you said about bridging connections and engaging with people. Um, she says, I really feel your sincerity and warmth when you spare a few minutes of your time talking to us. Such a wonderful feeling. Kaya until now, the positive aura dala dala ko pa din because of that chance oh. meeting. Um, thank you for that unforgettable, happy, killing feeling you, that you left with me. Oh, Masarap ang pakiramdam. Corazon, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Yeah, that, pay it forward. Pay it forward. True. That's what it's there for. It has to go around. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Um, also, do you like these days the releasing of a single? Napakabilis na lang. When you just get it out into audiences with just the touch <laughs> of a button or an app. But you I know, know. But 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 kids, you kids are missing out. Kids these days are missing out the thrill of going to a record store and fumble through rows of vinyls <laughs> yes. and know, different right? artists. And sometimes, as well as CDs, uh, they can yes. browse them either by artist or by category, depending on how they're arranged. Right? You know, CD and LP, come here, 45, but it's just like that. Oh, yeah, 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 right, the 45. They don't cover the 45, so it's like... Yeah. When you don't cover the 45, na ano, na parang newsprint, uh, meron din yung plastic. Na, yeah. na ano na medyo frosted. <laughs> Parang hindi mo gasgas, di ba? And you know how how what what are the price of vinyl back in the day as compared to now? So, di ba? That is like ay na naman tayo. Hundred plus. Mande, mande date. Ako uh, hundred plus na tayo. Hundred plus na. Oh, I, oh ah wait. mas mura pa ba? <laughs> uh, at one point it was fifty. 
Really? 50 and then tumaas ng 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Eight, yes, yes. You know what? Eight, 75, 80. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, 75 to 80 and then 120. Ano yung remember. first, ano ma? Ano yung first vinyl ma? <laughs> First, first vinyl ko was actually 45. Um, it was it was given it was given by my sister because they knew that I like Star Wars. So they gave they gave me a they gave me like, a, a, I like Star Wars. Uh, for, parang disco version pa. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Star what? Wars theme ng ano ng disco version. I can't remember uh, what's my first one pero I, pero na 45 pero LP my first LP, LP was ano. Carpenters. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll never go wrong with that. You'll never go wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first LP, ko, um, one of the first one was, and I still have it to this day, um, Take One, Martin Rivera. Wow, wow OPM. See, you know, that was what I loved about OPM in the 80s. If people like you bought our CDs, you know, college, you know what I really miss? College, oh, campus tours. Oh, yeah, my campus God. tours. Yes, yes, yes. I miss campus, campus tours. tours. Mm-hmm. Uh, At saka, lalo na pag Pasko. Tapos, isa pa yan. Mamaya, magsasalisi kami. Oh, Martin, uh, sig- are you going to, ano, o oh, sige, later, I'll see you later in, ano, in Merino. Oh, mamaya, nandun. Nagkikita-kita kami because it's like everybody gets invited, right? So, right, right. Exactly. Naka, naka-line up na yan. Oh, yeah. Oh, and goodness. talagang, ano, it's so, it was so nice, you know, just so warm. All the all the kids just come around and sing the songs with you. Ah, so nice. Ah, miss. <laughs> Wait, speaking of CDs, uh, I remember also that you are the first ever OPM artist to have a CD. Wow, that was the greatest hit CD, good. diba? And the cover was sort of yellow, diba? It is, yeah, it's wearing a yellow and white stripe. Yeah, yeah hair. yellow and white stripe, yes. <laughs> when your hair was um, the big hair. Yeah, there you go. Um, can, can you tell us how that felt like when you when you presented that? The parang, wow. Parang, no, that was... Again, that was for me because you have to understand. Remember, I had no intentions of being a celebrity, a, a star, or whatever I was. No intentions. So when they, when Octo Arts did that for me, let's go back to the word responsibility. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. I felt like I had to carry this honor for the rest of my life. And, and and make good these songs and that's why I continued to 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 work on my craft because you can't just say okay you gave it to me then fine and you can just you know do whatever you like your laurels or something screw up your life right yeah, yeah you have to be deserving of something like that and I don't know if if how many people nowadays still realize or or or, or know the concept of being deserving. It's it's big. It's, yeah. It is. It right? is. It's not it, it's not something that you just buy off the shelf and, and dig it mudito sa, sa chest when say deserve or, or, or okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ng, actually, your title or award that was yeah, okay, and then you can go screw up your life. Hindi eh, hindi pa ting ganon. Binigyan ka ng title, binigyan ka ng ganon. You have to be deserving of it. You have to be worthy of it. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many people realize that, especially when they reach a certain level of fame and popularity. It's so important. They'll probably realize that when they look back or when they're alone and they're given and they give themselves some me time to process what it is that they actually have um, in their hands. Um, then you know, hopefully that, that, will will that will be too late. They have to know yeah. now. They have to know now while they're carrying that. Akin na lang Miss Universe, hindi ka pa yadeng magkalat. Biglang na lang kami Miss Universe, as mga drugs ka, di pa yadeng, ha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Dala dala mo yung corona ng yon, dala dala mo yon. You have to be worthy of that title. That's what I'm. Yeah. 
it's, it's a life if it's a it's a lifetime uh mantle yeah, that, yeah, that when you're a celebrity that crown is there for the rest yeah. of your life yeah that's true yeah. that's true i agree i agree and um i remember also in the latter part um that that cd was released by octo and i think um another record company released a different collection uh pink Dynam- cover yeah as a dyna uh, i was gonna say i was gonna say poly no the pink one is octo and then yeah dyna released a different color i think yeah. octo only released but, the time um, but some of the songs in the pareho eh, sayang uh, that that particular yellow cd na op- octo is is a collector's item if you have that uh suerte mo <laughs> Um, if you're looking for that, <laughs> just like me, <laughs> uh, Yeah, because for one thing, uh, that yellow CD has larger than the pink. The pink one does not. The pink wala. one has. Wala. The pink one has 16 songs. The the yellow one has 12. May dagdag na kanta in the latter ano, but wala mm. yung mga iba. There's some songs na hindi pareho. So if you have both, um, let's be friends. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Singa, if I'm extra, I'll send it to you. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, good day. I'm going to go to Vancouver. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Apply it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Yeah, uh, we mentioned about CD signings um, as well oh, back in the day. Yes. When when you see other artists um, back in the day release CDs of their own, that was you know really inspiring for sure. But Uh, now in this day and age, in this digital age, where do you get inspiration from? Uh, when I see these young, good bands and singers releasing really nice MTVs, I never had MTVs. Hindi ako inabot masyado ng era of MTVs. Yeah, now you mentioned it. Oo nga. Kasi umalis na ako. Reklamo, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1995 eh. Eh, yeah. MTV. Yeah. MTV, yeah. MTV oh, debuted in 83. 83 nag-debut yung MTV. So, parang hindi pa masyadong umaabot dito. Anong 83? Huh? 83 ba? Ang MTV. Yeah, MTV. 83 ba? Kung mali yung well, in, in abroad. Yung video, yeah, yeah, video, abroad. Video, ano, video killed the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the radio. Yeah, no, but in the Philippines, yung talagang uh, nag- oh, yeah, sa atin, everybody yeah. started having quality MPVs na. Video killed the radio star. Yeah, that was in the okay. 80s. But oh, abroad, ano, pero sa Philippines, hindi pa rin, medyo na late tayo sa mga artists na naglalabas ng MPVs. I think that really only started late 80s, early 90s, and then pumutok na talaga na 90s, pero paalis na ako nun eh. Yeah, sayang. Sayang, sayang. Yeah, so when I see what now on YouTube, parang sa ginagawa yan. Gusto ko yan. <laughs> And some of these you'd be surprised, you know, gawa lang sa bahay. But yeah. they have, you know, they have great, um, they get great equipment. So, ayan tuloy. No, and they have uh, good ideas. They have good ideas. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, they have these young so what, kids with good graphic and artistic ideas. Uh-huh. Um, what kind of music do you listen to these days? Curious. <laughs> Here, um, I like to listen to a lot of bossa nova. Honestly, mm, um, okay. I mean, also my my playlists are you know my crossover songs from Manila. <laughs> right, right. My smooth jazz. I listen to a lot of smooth jazz. Um, can 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 we can we hope for a a Joey Albert bossa nova album? Ooh. I've always wanted to do that. You know, in fact, my daughter, my daughter told me, mom. Just said, I'm just gonna buy it. Just mom, just do it. Just just do a passion project. And I I want to. I want I love Bosa. I love Sergio Mendez. I love um I love Ivan Lin. I love all I love all this, you know, I, I also love standards. I I love Bert Bacharach, I love Henry Mancini. Oh, Bert, Bacar- Bert Bacharach is the I love, but you know the songwriting. I, you know, when I, when I, I finally, guys, I finally, about three, four years ago, I finally figured out why people scream and cry when I sing my songs. I finally figured it out. I mean, I had an idea why, mm-hmm. but it was here. 
I didn't know it here. I couldn't understand it here. A friend of mine, and I've, I've always wanted to watch Johnny Mathis live. <laughs> okay. It's Finally, my, my friend. Exactly, right? Finally, my friend Menchie took me about three, four, five years ago. We drove down to Portland, flew to Portland, and watched Johnny Mathis. And I swear. Lahat ng mga tao, mga ano, puti na yung mga book. O kaya kalbo. Kami dalawa yung bata. Umpisa pa lang kasi ng songs, alam ko na yung kanta, so sumisigaw ko. Tapos, yung mga matatanda na tatawa, ah, she knows the song, ha, ha. Tapos, pag ano, kinukurot ko si Merchie, ganyan. Sobrang ganda yung kanta. Pero umpisa na yung chances are, ta na 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 na. I get it. I get it. It's their life coming back to them. I get it. <laughs> so, naintindihan ko na kung bakit ganun din sila. Kasi dati hindi ko naintindihan. Parang, wow, but gusto, gusto nila, oh. <laughs> I really it, think it's, it's so Yeah, it, you, you finally get to appreciate your own product for what it is and and what it has brought, you know. For the of heart people. of what it for, is, yeah. Yes, for the heart of what it is. I agree. I agree. Yeah, um, so um, yeah. Uh, Lori Santos says, Hindi pa rin nagbabago si Miss Joey A. Kagawa ko na siya hindi napapanood. Lagi ko kinakantang iisa pa lamang. End points of view. Oh, oh. Wait, saan mo ako pinapanood sa school bukol? Wait, lato ka ba? <laughs> Lori, sumagot ka. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> saan daw? Uh, Melvina says, 40 pesos na wang cassette tape. Naalala niya. Melvina, to you, hi! Old friend ka rin. From the 80s. 40 pesos uh, ang cassette? Correct. Yeah, yeah, 40 pesos. Oh, so, Sahara, you're joining us today. Um, Sahara, uh, the American OPM singer. Hi, Sahara. Sahara Mike. Hi! Um, sabi niya, galing. The advice that means a lot to her. So, uh, yeah, we were just talking about we, 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 I just mentioned you to Joey before we went on live. So we just started Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no telepathize. No. Probably, probably. <laughs> um, since this is, you know, this new single, I know will will beget another new single after. Um, any any project in the works for you uh, for the remainder of 2022 or something we can look forward to 2023? Um, 2022, I, I have a few shows uh, in the States. I was supposed to do a show with Louis Ocampo, but they had postponed it for next year. So I'm praying to God that Matuloy Shah, because that would be phenomenal to sing with Louis again, to sing yeah. for him again. Um, he's the heart of most of my songs, as as everybody knows. Mm -hmm. So that would be a wonderful thing if Matuloy is on that. Um, I have a couple, I have some more compositions that I'll be coming out with, and they will be yes. very different. Um, it's, it's, don't expect to continue to pass. I am completely incapable of writing a song like that. But I am I'm trying different kinds of co compositions, and you know, I, it's just um, what what I learned from Jim Paredes is you know when you write a song, don't worry about the song being commercial or popular. Just write a song because you have a story to tell, or you know, or a feeling to share. That's all. Yeah. That's all you need to write the song. So, uh, sharing is caring. Correct. <laughs> so I, have a couple, I have a couple more. I have one called um, Mr. Musiquero. And then I have a Bossa Nova one actually called Ulan. Oh. Yes. And, uh, yeah, list na We will list it down. <laughs> the Joey Albert songs that we need to watch out for uh, yeah. in 2022 and 2023. Um, if in case they wanna, uh, as if uh, pa sila hindi alam, but just in case they wanna say hi to you and know more about what uh, keeps you busy 
uh, in a day in Vancouver, where can they get in touch with you? Your social they can media? write me at writedearjoey at gmail.com and they can write me their stories and I can read their stories and sing them a song or or on Hello DJ, I can, I can request a song or my new segment on YouTube channel. I have birthday sing out. So if you want to dedicate the song for somebody's birthday, I can do that too. <laughs> yes. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will put that down uh on the uh on the show notes yeah yeah miss joey uh the, the interview may be over but you know yeah. this, this this is a this, this is just is the a, beginning. a beginning and it's a ripple effect for this a lot of uh, viewers yes and, the beginning of more and thank you i i i have crossed another bridge back to back to mellow 94 Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Imagine how many years it's been. But yes, time and, and, and opportunity. Friends are bridges too. Thank you, Malu, for bringing this, making this happen. Thank you so much, everyone. It means a lot. Always welcome. Always welcome, <laughs> Joey. Oh, and yes. um, yeah, the song, once again, of course, is uh, Kundimang Kupas. You can listen to that on all the streaming platforms. And if you, oh, if yes, and thank music, you to believe music, sila naglagay sa lahat ah, ng stream, streaming platforms. I'm ah, yes. that believe music. Okay, thank you, believe music. Um, and if you know, if digital music is is your thing and wala ka ng mahanap na CD, that's fine. Uh, that's what streaming is all about these days. I mean, you know, just stream it wherever you are, um, cooking dinner, <laughs> driving, yeah. or, or just you know, pumpatulog, pwede rin kung gusto mo. But yeah, um, stream it. And uh, and if you, this is your first time to discover Joey Albert's music. Once you've discovered. Hindi ka na aalis. Yan ang sasabihin ko sa iyo. Hindi ka na aalis at ayaw mo pang umalis. No. Dahil pag umalis ka, aawayin kita. Lagot <laughs> <laughs> ka. Oh, Tama ka lang kidla. Thank you. Thank you. I will be with you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for playing um, beautiful music. You know, you always say singers. Heal our heal hearts, with it, but you do too. Remember, sometimes for some people you just don't know it, but radio is their one bridge to even just staying alive or wanting to live. That's happened. The music you give sometimes is the one reason they have left to wake up in the morning. So God bless you for what you do, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Joe. And God bless you too for the music that you continue to make and will always be making and have made in the past. Thank you. This has been Kaz for On The Spot 9 for 7. Till the next edition, we shall be on the lookout for the next artist that we're going to be putting on the spot. And keep it right here on All Hits, Mellow 94.7. Sounds good. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Bye.